Race 19 is the Brown Advisory Stable Plate Handicap Chase. You join me here just a bang on time as the horse is already away here. So he didn't get a chance to run through the field. I'll try and name them all here for the Brown Advisory. Handicap Chase here. 17 fences to take. Two and a half. Two miles and five furlongs. They're all over the first. We're being led by Gold Hildred. Paul Rhodes. You've got a length and a half on the rest of all pretty much together as they get to the second. Oh, and we've lost two there. Bella Bertoloni's gone for Ryan Costello and Annie Walker for Thomas Rogers. Bad luck. Annie Walker's uh, a great finishing horse. We get to the third. We'll all get over that. We'll try and run through the horses here. All guns firing's taking it up now. Gold Hibbert on his inside. They're followed through by Kalachi Adventure. And Leon's Mayhem, early bird on the inside. Out wide is Cordes Oboe in the green silks. Wider still is Farmy Boy for John Morgan. One sneaking two there is Moreland Overseer. And we've got Rhea Coronas of Alex Jerry, the top weight. And this is Jody of Del Hinton's up against the fence in the pink silks. And they're followed through by Force Horizon Cork, nothing. And Teasel scores. My little tip for this race as they get to the Oh, and we've lost the leader. This time it's all guns firing. It's gone. Lucky to Vinny there. Per attempts earlier in the day. Not going to take the Brown advisory. And back up front is Gold Hildred that leads us. It's Kalachi and Venture and Lions and Leon's Mayhem together. Between those, it's Early Bird. Rear Coronas, Cordes Oboe, Sunset Boulevard, Morland Overseer, Family Boy out wide. We get to the six. Oh, we lost another one this time. False Horizon for Leon Ren Rainsburg's gone. Uh, another one, four down. We get to the seventh. All make it this time. So for these races, they either all fall or they all stand on their feet. We've got a mile and a half to go, and another circuit. And it's Gold Hildred that leads them. From Kalachi Adventure in second, Sunset Boulevard's third, Early Bird is fourth, and the inside is Cordes Oboe, the red cap. I'm oh, sorry, that's Lions Mayhem. Cordes Oboe's out a little bit out wider, and on the inside of him is more than Overseer. And we've got Alex Cherry's rear Coronas. Joddle, Farmy Boy still out wide as they get to the six, the plain one. And we'll get over that. Loose horses. But still Gold Hildred for Paul Rhodes. Disappointed, I think, with his national hunt team this year. But I imagine we'll have marked improvement for him for next year. It's a bit of a stable virus, maybe. But it's Gold Hildred that leads them into the tenth, the ditch. We'll take it well. A slower jumps towards the real. But Gold Hildred, as we come down to a mile from home, Let's go back uphill now. All over that, Teasel scores at the rear. Didn't jump it well, but still in touch. Lions Mayhem now starts to take it up and takes over from Gold Hildred. So Lions Mayhem and Gold Hildred as we start to head downhill. Get to this fence, always a tricky one. Oh, and we have lost one there. It's Early Bird that's gone. So, bad luck. Leads Lions Mayhem and Gold Hildred to get over the 13th together. Leaders all over it. So it is Lions Mayhem from Gold Hildred. Kalachi Adventure. Rear Coronas has moved up well. Family Boy is still there, but run wide most of the race. Then Moreland Overseer. And a couple lengths back to Sunset Boulevard in Corders Oboe and the rest. So they go over the 14th. Four from home. Three to go. And it is Lions Mayhem. He's asked for a great deal yet. There's no real challenges. The two that are running wide now are Moreland Overseer. But it's Lions Mayhem that leads him into the 15th. Oh, we've lost another one there. Kalachi Adventure's gone. That leads Lions Mayhem still in the lead from Cordes Oboe that's running on well now. Rear Coronas in third. Doesn't look like he's got a lot left. Farmly Boy asked for a little bit more Moreland Overseer. Running on well now as Cork nothing. Teasel scores from the back. Misses Joldo. I can't see. But it's Lions Mayhem that still leads us here. Lions Mayhem. Fort Horizon was a faller. We knew that. But it's Lions Mayhem as we come down to the penultimate from Cordes Oboe. They're all over it. Everybody jumps it well. The one that didn't get over it well was Rear Coronas. But up front is Lions Mayhem. Channel now by Cordes Oboe. On the way to outside is Farmy Boy and Teasel scores, but it's Cordes Oboe that still leads by half a length to Lions Mayhem. Lions Mayhem and Cordes Oboe as we come inside the final.
Furlong and it's Lions Mayhem just noses the front but on the wide outside is Teasel scores we're inside the final half and it's Lions Mayhem Teasel scores is he going to get there Lions Mayhem needs the line Lions Mayhem Teasel scores I think Teasel scores may well have just got up there my tip for the race didn't give it the kiss of Stu I did but I think it might well have won here for David Robertson it did get up Poor ride by Lions Mayhem. They were both the 15 to 2 joint favourites. Sunset Boulevard did well to get up for third. More than obviously it was fourth. And running on was Farmley Boy for fifth. So it is a win for David Robertson and Teasel scores. Lions Mayhem for Hems. Unlucky there in second. Sunset Boulevard for Paul Rhodes got up for third. More than obviously if David Robertson was fourth. And Farmley Boy for John Morgan made it five.